Hey, David Kubig, how yes. are you? Terrific, now that you ask, yes. Thank you, thank you for day. welcoming us into your neighborhood, and it is a beautiful day, yes. and we're in beautiful central Lawrenceville. Right. Tell me how long you've lived here. Uh, exactly, so 72, that was 82, 92, my math being correct, what, 42 years? Wow, so you're a long-standing member of this community. Absolutely, yes. I used to be a political committee man here, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, civic activist, so to speak. Okay. Yes. So tell me what is one of some of the things that you think are just fabulous about your neighborhood, your community. Well, we'll start with the people. Don to earth, no nonsense people. They mm -hmm. like the truth straight up. You know, they <laughs> I love don't, it. They don't want no foolishness. They, you know, <laughs> you are what you are. You are what you so are. So you can't feign it, fake it, and uh, that's what I like most about the area. Is it a very diverse area? Uh, now it's becoming more so. Yes, we got more uh, young people coming in, more um, ethnic groups coming in. At one time there was. I'd say, for the most part, certain ethnic groups that comprise most of the neighborhood, but now you're getting more diverse culture into the area. Well, I can remember 10 years ago you had the elderly, yes. and then you had the group of teenagers, and that middle slot was missing. Yes. It's changing, isn't it? Yes, very much so. In fact, my friend was always fond of saying, artists generally will change a neighborhood, and that's what came in first, the artists started to change the uh, the look of the neighborhood right. and then you brought in the artist and the new ideas the new thought processes where at one time this these were mill neighborhoods steel mm. mills so they had that certain one mindset blue collar blue collar right. and a shot and beer a uh, shot and beer <laughs> and jingling <laughs> right Bre <laughs> breakfast lunch and dinner too you so. know, i <laughs> right. love it I love yeah. where do you see central lawrenceville in 25 years oh geez well, surely it's improving. Mm -hmm. Now, as to where do I see it in 25 years, I will say I see it as a very hub of cultural and um, uh, educational opportunities in, uh, in educating um, people in different uh, fields. Mm -hmm. At one time, again, there was a certain mindset here that um, you might work for a city or county but now I see more educational opportunities coming into play, more artistic and creative people as well. I think that's what, do you, do you, now that we're having this influx of art, you're not seeing as many abandoned buildings or sore spots or you're not, are, are, are those things being handled or are we still dealing with those things? In well, we're dealing with them, but I can then go back 42 years, you had nothing but bars oh. and drug alleys here. And our point of recreation was just playing in our own backyard. Some of our mothers were so afraid to let us out. It was just simply on our block, and that was it. But um, with progressive thinking uh, people, they started tearing down those dilapidated buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, they turned those parking lots now into residential apartments. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the nuisance bars closed down with respectable, more respectable bars where you can actually sit and talk to a nice woman like you. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> Where before it was all, you know, uh, how much uh, uh, crack do you got on you tonight? Or, yeah, you know. I can remember 20, you know, 20, 10, 15 years ago just coming out of the theater was a dangerous, dangerous <laughs> adventure. Without mentioning the name of a bar, because there were some good people in those bars, so I'm not going to mention the name of the bar, but there was fights every night there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and you can get anything and anything you wanted. Mm -hmm. And that and was, was dangerous. Yes. And, but again, you had to be hard-nosed. You had to ha use common sense, but... Uh, a lot of people, unfortunately, a lot of my friends fell victim to the drug culture. Right. And so I can honestly speak for them, too, today. I wish they were here to see the progress the area has made. Well, where do you see um, um, Lawrenceville 25 years from now? Oh, again, uh, 25 years, I would say it will be a hub of, um, along with uh, artistic uh, uh, people, uh, sort of a recreational area to come to, a destination point, like the Strip District. Is something the strip missing from this neighborhood that you think needs to be here? Uh, yes, uh, more family-friendly activities. Ah. We had a swimming pool here they took out. Mm -hmm. That helped. And they, they're they still not in the uh, idea process of what they really want to do with that uh, whole huge park. Mm -hmm. We're speaking of Les uh, Leslie Park. Oh, okay, okay where it's being underutilized. We have Arsenal Park that's being underutilized as well. There used to be a pond there, and uh, there was uh, a fountain there, but uh, you'll very, see very few people in the parks, uh, other than maybe an occasional softball game. So they're being uh, uh, underutilized. And then, and then finally, you speak of where do I see it in uh, 25 years? Mm -hmm. The river is our opening. It's our gateway to everybody. 
that river was underutilized for so long. People would say, well, go fishing or go down to the river, but everybody was afraid and you could, there was no access. Now you're seeing bike trails there and trails to actually get down there. What I like to see is more uh, development along the riverbanks, which oh. they're in the process of doing. Oh, are they? Oh, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. In fact, you go up several blocks at a 62nd Street Bridge, there's a whole lot now vacated. They're thinking of moving all your car dealerships, all your auto parts stores, trucking firms, all into that one massive parking lot mm -hmm. and create a lot of residential housing where they stood at one time, okay. along with some new restaurants and viable places for young people to go or elderly people. I'd go. Yes, there was um, <laughs> blueprints out for that. Yes, That's I would go wonderful. too. You'll see me there. Are you, a, all right, are you a part of, the, part of that development happening? I was with the River Commission for Wonderful. several years, so I already uh, saw the plans uh, being uh, implemented. We got a secret. Well, yes, I guess so. You're right. It's down by the river. <laughs> if, if, if there's another neighborhood right. in Pittsburgh that you would aspire to be like, mm -hmm. or uh, or you see some things in that neighborhood that you'd like to see in Lawrenceville, um, or you see some things in that neighborhood that you don't want to see, what would that neighborhood be and why? Well, you definitely don't want to see the drug culture. It's, um, I can take it any bar right now and find drugs. How you eliminate that, I don't know. Undercover, of course, again, uh, that's another department. But as far as um, bringing uh, new vitality to the region, I, again, I can only speak from 42 years ago to where we are today. Major progress is being made. Okay. But we need some, uh, some new entrepreneurs, some uh, new investors to uh, create that reality. And I know there's a small business uh, opportunities for people on limited incomes that maybe they can also be involved to, uh, to bring the idea and they'll have the investment and the means of um, people sponsoring them. To bring You've got to come back and start running some things. You have awesome ideas. You well, have a great I have vision. a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> yes. Dang, I truly have enjoyed talking to you. Thank Likewise. you for welcoming us to Central Lawrenceville. Well, great. I hope you come back. And again, uh, hopefully you'll see the results in the next few years, less than 25 years. I would Absolutely. like to think I'll be around to see I'd it. like to see that river thing happen like tomorrow, yesterday. Uh, again, the concept is it will be your next big park in the city. Wonderful. It will stretch all along up and down the rivers. And we're thinking even getting a train from the Pittsburgh Zoo to run along the uh, river up to the zoo. That's cool. What held that up is the railways. Uh -huh. They're, they, they own the property there. Okay. So it's all based on people's cooperation. What you have is too many factions and you know these little petty grievances mm -hmm. which hold things back too. But if everybody can get together, collaborate and come together with different uh, ideas, and I think we can all make this happen. I trust that's going to happen. Yes, you would believe so. After all, if they're of civic-minded and if they want to leave a bit of a legacy, I think they should pursue those ideas. I want to ask you this quick one, and we're really, we really are going to wrap up. I, you okay. just got me on a roll. Is Lawrenceville named after David Lawrence, who used to be a mayor here, maybe back in the early days? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. So this is kind of like his little hometown, his legacy. Yeah, pretty much so, yeah. Yeah, it goes back to historical eras. Um, How old is Lawrenceville? Oh, geez. Uh, I'm going to say close to maybe 200 years. Wow. That's an awesome yes. that's an awesome responsibility to live in a community that that, that is that old and, and watch it grow. and That's beautiful. Yes, it definitely is. It is one of your up-and-coming neighborhoods, but it was long due. Long due. Because we're the gateway to downtown Pittsburgh as that's well. That's right. It's from the east side. Yeah, right? I enjoy talking to you, Dave. Likewise. Thank you. Well, I Thank hope, you. Yes, and I hope these good people are buying you a drink now. Hey! <laughs>